In the last several days, we've seen all kinds of strange um, events occurring around the country. Uh, train derailments, just uh, another derailment just yesterday, multiple train dera derailments at the same time, objects in the sky being shot down by the uh, U.S. military, Chinese balloons drifting across the United States, apparently making their way to Canada, back in the U.S., another balloon in South America. And so Debbie and I are like, what? what's going on? So the one thing that you want to focus on is something that people don't like to talk about, but is something that we should at least be aware of, and that is the possibility of some kind of a an EMP or electromagnetic pulse right. attack. Right. And and it's really we our grid system in the United States, you know, we have several, right? They're all very antiquated. And it also could be the the reason why all these trains are derailing as well because our infrastructure is extremely old so it all that kind of all ties in but but this particular threat um is very real and um in many instances people think you know oh it's just it's it's only a, a conspiracy theorist or a what talking theory point, or whatever yeah. a talking point but it actually is something that if it were to happen uh, and I, you know, uh, these are a lot of sources. This is actually from the Washington Examiner. It says, imagine an event that took out the majority of the power grids in the nation. Not only would our grids be down, but all modern automobiles, telephones, communication equipment, computers, refrigerators, air conditioners, heaters, internet computers would be destroyed. And even if people did not panic, they would soon begin to die. So this is, and, and think of those who are like dependent on electricity for oxygen, kidney dialysis, or, you know, another mechanical means to stay alive. They would all die within a matter of hours. Um, so this is very real. And this is something that, you know, we, we love to spend money on other countries like, you know, Ukraine, we just gave them, you know, a ton of money again. Why don't we why don't we invest our money where where it matters for our livelihood here in America? And that is strengthen our grid system to sustain such an attack. And and it's not out of the question that China could do that because these balloons, while they claim were only used for weather monitoring, uh, they could actually have that, you know, that nuclear bomb, you know, whatever goes off in the air, in the atmosphere uh, to actually take down the grids. It's very high in the atmosphere, so it could definitely do it. Um, they could do that. Uh, what it, what's to stop them? I mean, we didn't we didn't stop them initially from doing this. They had what we, four. We didn't seem to know about the balloons we, at all. Yeah. And even if the balloons themselves are not the vehicles of the attack, they could be the prelude to it. So the the the, the balloon is a way of checking things out. It's almost like the criminal scouting out beforehand to figure out where are the points of vulnerability, where do I need to attack. Let's remember that a, a traditional type of attack you know, where troops come surging into your borders. I think that kind of attack the U.S. could easily repel. Uh, even a direct nuclear strike may not work. First of all, we have ways to defend against that. Second of all, we have a nuclear capacity of our own. But this kind of an EMP attack is directly paralyzing to the whole citizenry uh, in a matter of time. I mean, don't even count the people who are immediately affected, like someone, let's say, who's on dialysis or needs treatment. But by and large, think of all the people who rely on a supply chain. All the food that shows up in our grocery stores is, comes as a result of um, and not, needs. Yeah, and not to mention all the electric things they're pushing, like electric vehicles, electric you know, ovens. Uh, think of all of that. That would go kaput, right? But the interesting thing is that EMPs can also be a natural form of uh of, of magnetic geomagnetic disturbance, right? It could be like extreme extreme solar geomagnetic disturbance. That is not man-made. So you know, if we're going to protect our grid, we have to protect it from all kinds of things, right? Not just man-made like China and Russia potentially, and even Iran. I've often said that Iran loves to have their grip on on Latin America because. It's a, it would be a short range missile for them, 
right? It's only 1,300 miles away from Venezuela to Miami. So all they need to do is, is a short range missile and take out our grid system and there we go. So it's extremely disturbing that they haven't done that. Uh, they desperately need new innovations, the United States, to mitigate the threat and the damage of, of these EMP attacks. I mean, the thing that frustrates me is that these things are not hard to figure out. My fear is that none of them are actually happening because you're dealing with an administration. And I guess it was uh, yesterday or the day before I was reviewing the Biden kind of defense manual where they talk about their priorities. And, you know, honey, I mean, their priorities are things like you know, gay month and like Africa, well, uh, honor Africa day, racial diversity, uh, in, equity in, and inclusion yeah. in the military. Yeah. Uh, it, they act as if the military is has nothing to do with being a military. It has nothing to do with defending the country. It has nothing to do with assessing threats or meeting them. It's an extremely disheartening and to some degree, if you really dwell on it, frightening situation.